Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be creating Boss Baby centerpieces, some wood letters, suitcase cutout. So what I'm going to do is I already uploaded several of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose what we're using. I'm just going to click on it. I went to upload because I, I recently uploaded them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and insert images. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and set it aside. And then I'm going to go to images and I'm going to look for a tie. I'm going to type in boss baby because I had a shadow that I wanted. Here's the tie. Let me just go ahead and I'm going to click on ownership and I'm going to click on uploaded. And here it is. I'm going to click on here, insert image. Okay. And we have that. Let me just go ahead and resize this one. Okay, I have that. And then that's about it for what we need to create all of these items. I'm going to start first with the centerpiece which will be this image. I'm going to duplicate the image just in case. For the centerpiece, the size for this cutout will be a four by four by five. Click on the image, unlock, and it'll be four and four by five and lock it. Let's just set this aside down here. And then next, for the centerpiece, I'm going to type, I'm going to go to text and type in the name, which is Carson. Then I'm going to go up on font and I'm going to choose whatever font you'll be using. And I always use the Cricut alphabet. So I can't find it right here. Cricut alphabet. Now we're going to go ahead and go to your layers panel, click on the shadow, which has the eye and it's hidden, click on it and just go on your keyboard and click delete, go back, click on it, ungroup. And we're going to size each one of these letters, 1.5 by 1.5 and mine is 1.5 because my boxes are two by two. Click on the letter again, unlock 1.5 by 1.5. Okay, once you finish, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight all of my letters and go ahead and just move them to the bottom. Okay, now we're done with the centerpiece. Now, next, we're going to go ahead and let's grab for the suitcase. And I forgot to bring in my wording for the suitcase. I also found this wording on Google. So I'm just going to go, I went back, I clicked on images and then I typed in, or I just scrolled up and down looking for the wording, insert images. You will not lose what you have on your canvas. If by any chance you click on new, that's when you lose whatever you have on your canvas. If you go back and forth to images, hit cancel, it will take you back to your canvas. Now for the suitcase, it all depends again, the size of your suitcase. I'm using a 10 inch suitcase. So I'm going to make my cutout eight by eight by five. You click on the image, go to your banner, unlock. And then once you're done sizing, you lock it. I grab my face shadow. I'm just going to go ahead and these little two arrows, just going to make it bigger and then click on that image, go where it says print in between print, click on it. And then I'm going to go click on color, make it white. 
it's right here but then I'm just gonna go ahead and go to your layers panel click on black canvas go back to the banner where it says color click on it so we can change the canvas the color of our canvas so we you'll be able to see your shadow your cutout so just go ahead and place it on top of the O if that happens click on it arrange send it to the front and let's go ahead and size it up just like that if you're satisfied you can make it a little bit bigger once you're satisfied highlight entire image go at the bottom of your layers panel click on slice remove it delete move and delete next we take our tie and since the wording is black tie is black click on the tie same technique change it to white place it on top of the a arrange it to the front and let's resize it if you're satisfied highlight entire image go on the bottom of your layers panel and click on slice then we just go ahead and remove it and delete you can change this color by clicking on the image click on that black box in between line type and fill and click whatever this will be a print and cut because I'm not using vinyl, I'm using printable vinyl. I'm not using the regular vinyl. So I highlight the entire image, go up where it says no fill, click on print, because it will be a print and cut. That we're gonna go ahead and place it right here the bottom this is just in case I am this duplicated this image just in case okay now for the I deleted the tie and I need another tie so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to images and I'm gonna click on tie Upload. Okay, and I'm just gonna click on the tie I'll be using and just insert images because I need that one. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the circle and the gable box, the cutout. For the gable box, let me duplicate this image just in case. Set this right here. For the gable box, it will be 6 by 3.3. I'm using 6 by 6 gable boxes. And we locked it. Okay. Now we grab this image, and I'm going to duplicate it just in case. And we're going to size it. And we are going to place that image right here in the bottom. make this a little bit smaller okay now we're gonna go ahead and go on text and it's going to read happy first birthday now duck okay and click on it bring it up here and alignment I'm going to align it to the center and then I'm going to change the font I'll be using the Burbank so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the font and I'm just gonna type it in Burbank Boop. click on all and then let me type it in right here and then I'm going to change it to white so click on the wording, click in between line type and fill that black box, which identifies what you just clicked on and change it to white. I'm going to duplicate this just in case. And I'm going to duplicate the small one. And I'm going to delete this big one. Okay, well, grab your wording, place it right here and let's just go ahead and size it unlock and let's just size it right here 
lock it once you do that highlight the entire image and click on flatten right there on your layers panel pretty simple now i'm gonna set that aside grab the next one this one right here and i'm gonna duplicate just in case i'm going to but you know what I can just go ahead and grab it from this one. I'm going to duplicate this one. Okay, leave this aside. I duplicated these just in case. But let me see. I need a cutout for a favor bag. My bag is a five inches, and then I'm going to make this eight. Let's see what happens. It's a five. Sorry, guys. See, it looks way too stretched out, the Boss Baby, when we do that. So let's just go ahead and X out of it. Let's go ahead, unlock, and let's make it a 8. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's grab our Boss Baby. We're going to duplicate that Boss Baby and duplicate the wording just in case. Same technique, let's just place it. If that happens, arrange, set it to the front, align it, grab your boss baby, arrange, send it to the front, resize it, place him right here in the middle, highlight entire image and flatten. And set that aside. And then next we're gonna grab for our circle. Let's expand this box go to your left hand side click on shapes grab a circle and this circle will be five by three by five by three on a nine inch circle unlock size it and then we lock it go ahead and center it highlight entire image and slice Remove it, delete, remove what you don't need, and delete. Grab our baby, arrange, send it to the front. A little bit bigger. Grab your wording, arrange, send it to the front. Resize, place it right there in the middle. Highlight entire image and flatten. Okay, we have that one covered, and I need the tie. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's grab this one, and we're going to duplicate this one. We have all that covered for the Boss Baby centerpiece, the suitcase circle for the plate, the gable box, the cutout for the favor bag, and now we are missing for the wood letters, which will spell the name Carson. So let's grab this image and these cutouts will go on the letters so let's unlock and it will be a two by five by one by five a two by five one by five and we lock it and then the tie will be click on it unlock it one point to six by 3.2 remember these measurements are based on the letters that i'm using i'm using a uh, five inch letters so the the measurements are based on those letters if you're using a nine inch letter well then you're gonna have to increase your measurements okay we have the tie we have the baby and then we have I'm going to make this baby a two by two because it'll be, I'm noticing it'll be wait, a two, it will be too big. Okay, a two by two. And then next, we are making the, the number one. Go on text, click on the number one. And I'm choosing the Cricut alphabet. 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 Cricut alph
duplicate alphabet. Where is it? Right here. And that number will be one by seven five unlock. One by seven five by three. Lock it. Okay, go on your layers panel, click on that gray shadow number one and unlock it. Go to line type in between line type and fill, click on that one, and then because this will be a print and cut, I'm going to choose a dark blue, and then the one on top will be even darker. Or do I do a one of the black? I'm not sure if I want a black or that big blue or the blue one. Highlight the entire image and flatten. These will be print and cut. If you want, you can make it as a cut image. Doesn't matter. And also the blue to match this color if you want. Or maybe you can make it white. Okay. For the wood letters, we have the tie, we have the baby, and we have the number one. And then next... For the letters, grab your Boss Baby cutout, duplicate it. Then I'm going to change it to black and size it. For the Boss Baby, click on it and we will make it a two by two. Okay, let's see how that goes. Yes, I want it a little bit less here. Let's do a one by seven. A little bit less. Okay, this one looks better. You can leave it just like this or you can put this in white and change the colors. I might change the colors on this cutout. Not sure yet. Okay, now for this one, it will be I'm gonna set it as no fill so we can cut it. Okay, we have everything. Now, once you do all that, you can go ahead. Let's go ahead and click on this little arrow so you can select the machine you'll be using. I'll be selecting the maker. We're gonna go ahead and click on make it. For all the print and cuts, well, this one, I'll be using the printable vinyl. This is for the suitcase. We don't have to mirror the image. For all the other print and cuts, which are these right here, I will be using a hundred pound white cardstock. You'll notice you have the black box around your print and cuts, that's the registration marks. You need that in order for your machine to recognize what it'll be cutting. Next, I have the letters Carson, the Boss Baby, and the tie. Now, for the letters, I'll be using gold glittered cardstock. So what I'm going to do is, since it's double-sided, you're gonna have to go ahead and on quantity, right here, project copies, you're gonna go ahead and click on two and click on apply. It'll duplicate whatever other images you have here. If you want to avoid that, you're gonna go ahead and click on cancel and just cut one by one. For this one, what I do is I grab my glittered cardstock and I will cut a piece of the glittered cardstock so it can cover. It's a 12 by 12 glittered cardstock. So I cut it to cover 12 inches by four. And I'll just put the piece right here. And then I will grab my black cardstock, put it on number five. This one I don't need, right? So click on the three little dots and hide selected. For the tie, I only need one. Click on the second one, three little dots, hide selected. What I do on this one, flip it over like this, 
it right here. I'll get a black piece of cardstock and I'll just put it on, cut it out five, a five by six, not a five by six. I just cut it a three, a three by six piece of black cardstock and just place it right here. And that way your machine will cut your, your will cut your glittered cardstock letters and then it'll cut these two images on your black cardstock. Okay? And for the glittered cardstock, it's 110 pound glittered cardstock. For the black cutouts, it will be 65 or 80 pound black cardstock. For the printable vinyl, you place it in your printer. Click on continue send it to the printer you select the printer you'll be using select your copies and click on print once that prints you stick it onto your mat load it to your machine follow the instructions you have to choose whatever material you're using set your material i'm using printable vinyl so i'm going to select the printable vinyl now i'm going to do the fast mode because it's not too bad. It doesn't have a lot of intricate cuts. Once you do that, cut your pieces, come back to the cutout for your goodie bag. What I do, I'll just print this one, send it to the printer, same technique, select your printer, print. Now, I cut these by hand. For the favor box, I will cut by hand and the gable box i will cut it because it's with my circle okay so we're going to go ahead and for the number one and the circle again print select your printer which should be the same stick it onto your mat load it to your machine press the flash and go button and then we have the gable box here you can print this one by itself cut it by hand or on your machine. Now, once you do all that, I'll see you guys back at the table so we can go ahead and start assembling all these pieces. Okay, we are back. This will be a little bit over 25 minutes, but believe me, you won't be disappointed. This thing came out beautiful. Okay, let's get things rolling. Let's get our pieces. We have our cutouts. This was the print and cuts. These are for the letters. This is for the gable box. For the plate. We have our double-sided image for the centerpieces. We have the cutouts, the letters. Let's put this aside. Okay, now, those are the cutouts, materials. We have the three, three and a half by five and a half wood base. And we have, okay, we have the letter. The name is Carson. We have six letters. I already did the other letters. So I'm going to just show you how I'm going to achieve this look okay next we have our tray to pick up the glitter we have blue I'm sorry black blue glitter we have glue we have acrylic paint which is blue and black we have our satin varnish clear And then we have these scholastic uh, glue. Next, we have the brush. We have our handy dandy tool. <clears throat> we have the handy dandy tool to cut the dowel rods or the lollipop stick. We have the nail exacto knife. Not nail. I'm sorry. <laughs> the finger. We have the finger exacto knife. We have a brush, tweezers, and a spatula. We have our paint tray. Yes, I've been busy. Okay, first things first. Let's go ahead, 
for the centerpiece. Three and a half by five and a half. What you do first is we want our centerpiece to look neat, top and bottom. Let's go ahead and take off this tape. Once you take off the tape, what you do is grab your blue paint and you're going to paint the bottom part. When that dries, 15, 25 minutes. When it's dry, you go ahead and paint the top, the sides. When that dries, you'll have something like this. Then we go ahead and grab the glue you apply glue two three coats of glue on the top you go ahead and sprinkle it with your black glitter after that dries i leave mine 24 hours if you want you can i think it dries in five six hours i like it to be like really dry after that dries i go ahead and Apply on the top and a little bit on the sides the satin varnish. Okay. Once that's done, we go ahead and grab your boxes. You build up your boxes. You're going to have, I forgot to mention my boxes. These are two by two boxes. You'll receive your boxes just like this. And then what you do is fold you add glue on the side, glue inside, and you close it. I like to add glue because I don't like my centerpiece, my boxes, sorry, opening on the sides. Okay, we're going to do that with every single one of these boxes, but leaving one, do not glue the last box whichever whichever color you're using do not glue the box so i grab my scissors or the exacto knife and these lids on the side i'll just cut them in half and then next i'll grab my hole punch and fold that tab put your hole punch all the way in you punch the hole. This is the top box. So you're going to hold on to this box till the end. Next, let's go ahead and build these boxes. I'm going to build these three boxes real quick. Okay, once you have your boxes and the top one, we're going to go ahead and grab our four inch lollipop stick, which I already cut in half. I cut that one in half with my handy dandy tool. Next thing, I took my green floral foam and I cut a piece that will be glued on to this part of the box. I'm going to go ahead and glue this one with my... small glue gun okay just grab that floral foam and you just add a generous amount on the side without covering the center of the floral foam why because that center you need to see it through the hole that we just punched on the box let's make it sideways and the reason that i cut the side is because of the floral foam that way your lid will close let that dry we grab our cutout which is the five inch cutout we're gonna go ahead and grab the piece of lollipop stick apply a little bit of glue in the back on the back applying the stick leaving a maybe three-fourths of an inch of that stick 
and then you go ahead grab the second piece place it on top align it and start gluing the sides since this is a small piece I'll just go ahead and grab it just like this fold it over hold it with your thumb and start gluing the sides Okay, you have your piece you could go ahead and set that aside okay now that we have our glue I get a lot of questions about my glue gun I bought this glue gun on Amazon and I cannot provide the link in the description on my videos because it's no longer available in Amazon. I went to blackanddecker.com. I did not see it. It says on Amazon, it says currently unavailable. When I go to Black and Decker, I cannot find it. And I think it's, I don't know if I'm not sure if it says out of stock or discontinued. I'm not sure. And I only had bought one. I wish I had bought two or three. <laughs> if I would have known, they were no longer going to sell it. Just in case. But I haven't heard of any recalls to it. So we're good on that. Let's go ahead and start applying a generous amount of glue, of glue on the bottom box. The bottom box always has to have a generous amount of glue because this will be holding the other boxes that we'll be stacking on top. I have a piece of glitter here. Okay, just glitter. Okay, that is great. See, it's pretty good. These glue sticks are pretty good. They are Gorilla Glue Sticks. Okay, what I'm going to do is stack up five boxes alternating the colors. Blue, black, blue, black, blue. And I'll be right back. Okay, once we have the five boxes stacked up, it's a six letter name, Carson, but we only putting, we only gluing on five of them first. Once you glue that on, we're gonna go ahead and grab the last box, which has the foam, the floral foam. We grab our cutout that we just glued, and we're gonna go ahead and make the hole, holding it on. And then, since you already made the hole, we're gonna go ahead and glue the sides. It's better to make the hole prior to gluing it on, just in case that floral foam is not glued all the way down because it has happened to me that I don't put enough glue on that floral foam and once I glue the sides and the front part and I try to stick this popsicle, this, not popsicle stick, the lollipop stick, it comes off. Okay, so we have that ready. Now we're gonna go ahead and glue on the top box. Okay, once you have that last box on with the hole, we're going to go ahead and grab the letters and you will start gluing on the letters. Grab your tweezers, whichever you prefer, and start with your glue. I advise getting a fine tip 
because knowing me, I'm very, very clumsy and I will put a whole bunch of glue and it will come all out on the sides. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to go ahead and center it. Go ahead and place all your letters in the front part of the centerpiece and you can place the letters also in the back of the centerpiece. If you want, you can also add something, a tie, a suitcase on the sides if you want or add some bling going all the way down, whichever you prefer. Okay, go ahead and do that. Once it's done, it will be something like this. Once that's done, you go ahead and grab your cutout and you're just gonna go ahead and place it right in the hole. Let's start with the gable box. Your This gable box is a six by six. Leave it flat. What I do is, is grab the cutout. It has a little bit of, I'm gonna have to change my blade. I'm just gonna go ahead and fix the sides. Okay, what I do measure first, once that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and add double side. You can use double sided tape you can use glue, hot glue. I don't like using hot glue because it buckles up. So double-sided tape recommended. I have two pieces, front and back. Okay, now that we're done with both sides, we're gonna go ahead and close this box. Close the sides. You can also add a tie here and a suitcase here if you want. That's how it will come out. Let's set that aside. Next we have the cutout, the plate cutout. This size is for the nine inch plate, which will go right like this in the bottom. Okay, now to glue it on, I use the Anna Griffin sticker machine because I have tried before the adhesive spray. I have tried glue, Mod Podge, and it does not work for me. So I decided to purchase the Anna Griffin sticker machine. Pretty neat. It holds nine inch and five inch adhesive rolls. And go ahead and place your image facing down and go ahead and roll. Once you roll, you go ahead and cut. Now we're gonna go ahead and release that film Okay, once you do that, bring in the plate. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab our plate. Center it. Press down. And we have our plate. Okay, let's set that aside. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our base for the letter. What I do first is grab my, a piece of doll rod, then grab my drill. The bit on the drill has to be the same diameter as your doll rod. Okay. Next, I'm going to drill two holes right in the bottom. I just drilled these two holes. With your drill, you hold your letter and you drill. Be careful, not drilling too much because it will go on the other side. And remember to use the same diameter as 
the dowel rod. I'm just going to go ahead and fit this in here. Make a little bit of pressure on there. And then grab your handy dandy tool. I already have this by, I know by sight, by eye. So just a small little piece. If you can't do it this way, I suggest measuring first. So I'm guessing like this. And then grab the next one. Same to the other side. Okay, once you do that, we're going to go ahead and grab a pencil and we're going to mark where we want our letter. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and drill. And we're going to do this technique with all of the letters and base. Before we start painting, you want to measure. Try it out first. You go ahead and place it all the way in. We're going to set this aside to dry. Once that's drying, we're going to go ahead and grab the letter and start painting it. You're done. Just go ahead and place it on the side so it can dry. While that dries, you grab the base and you start applying it on the side. Okay, once that's done, let that first coat dry and then you go ahead and place this and go ahead and apply the second coat. Once that second coat dries, I went ahead and took out the little pieces and I'm going to apply glue and then top it off with the black glitter. Okay, we have that done. Grab your glitter. And you go ahead and sprinkle all that glitter. Set it aside to dry. I let it dry 24 hours. After it dries, then we go ahead and apply the satin varnish. And then let it dry another 24 hours or 5 to 6 hours. Okay, well that dries. Let's go ahead and grab the A. We're going to start because the K is drying. So I'm just going to show you how I apply the stickers on just one of the letters because that K is drying. And then once we do all the stickers, I'll just go ahead and post the picture so you guys can see. It's very simple, pr pretty simple. This first image, I'm going to leave it this cut out for the K. So let's set that aside. I'm sorry, the A, I will leave it as is. I'm not going to place a cutout. What I did with the A was I grabbed a glue stick, the Scotch Clear Glue. It dries really good. I applied the glue on top. Why? Because I'm a pretty... I can't balance my brush with this glue on the letter and avoid the inside. So I just grabbed this. And it has like a sponge and that way it will be precise the glue comes out really good applied it applied the glitter let it dry and then applied the varnish so this letter remains the same it remains no cutout so then the R I'm going to place the boss baby on it the cutout just gonna go ahead and apply some glue or maybe at the top, sideways on the top. 
just gonna go ahead and place it on the top sideways and I'm going to apply glue the A and the O. Okay, what I'm going to do is get the next letter and apply the other cut up. Then the O remains the same. Same thing with the O. I grabbed my glue all around and I glittered it. And then after it dried, I applied the satin varnish. Okay, for the N, I'm going to use the tie. And I'm going to place the tie right here. I'm not sure if I want to add bling on the S because it has bling here. It has that, I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll add it, okay. And then the number one, well, you know what? I'm not gonna add bling to the S. I'm gonna add the number one to the S. Okay, and there it is. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to finish that K, and then I'm going to add the cutout to the middle of the K. I can add it, let me see. I can add it to the top of the K. Okay, I'm going to add it to the top of the K. Same technique for that K. Let's just set that aside. And remember, I will add a nice, beautiful... I will add the picture right at the end. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab the Boss Baby cutout front and back, and we're going to add it to our suitcase. Slightly, and you go ahead and press down. Oh, this came out really nice. Okay, what we're going to do is same on the other side. Okay, set that aside. And we have our last cutout, which will be for the favor bag. You have several options. What I do, I don't cut it on the machine. I'll just cut it by hand. It's easier, faster rather than putting it in the machine. Sticking it out, whichever you prefer. To me, on the trimmer will be faster. Okay, for this cutout, you can use either glue or double-sided tape I'm going to use the double-sided tape okay you go ahead and place it down and you have your favor bag just went on a little bit on the side but no biggie this we have our letters we have our suitcase as well I'm gonna clean this up a little bit I'm gonna finish that K letter finish the last two centerpieces and I will post that picture right at the end of the video thank you for watching thank you for your support and as usual happy crafting